Hi, my name is Aitna Mert and today I'm going to show you a really fun and challenging paradiddle game. Uh, something you can do by yourself or uh, as I do in many cases, I played with students. So I, I teach drums and if you're also a drum teacher, um, give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. Now, uh, he here's how it goes. Um, paradiddle has eight notes, right? Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, from one to eight. Uh, write it down on a piece of paper and then put numbers on top of all those eight notes. So from one to eight. Uh, so let's say you're playing it with a student. Um, uh, we're we're going to start on the snare drum. So we're going to play all of those notes on the snare drum. And then uh, either you or the student starts uh, choosing. So let's say I, I start choosing now. Uh, I choose, the let's start simple, the first note. And I'm going to play the first note somewhere else on the kit while the rest stays on the snare drum. Um, let's say I choose my cowbell for that. So it would sound like this. Easy, right? So now it would be the student's turn. Uh, he could choose uh, a different number, let's say number four. And uh, he could choose to play number four, which is a right hand. Uh, he could choose to play that on the floor tom. Uh, Why the rest stays the same, like you, you start on the snare drum, but we added the cowbell, now we're adding the floor tom, right? So it's moving up, getting more complicated. So uh, fourth note on the floor tom sounds like this. Right? Now it would be my turn again, right? Um, I know I'm gonna get confused here pretty soon. Uh, that would, uh, let's say I choose uh, number five. That would be a left hand. Uh, let's put this left hand on the first rack tom. Uh, you know, everybody has a different setup, doesn't matter. You, you uh, just choose whatever you, you, you have available. Uh, so that would be cowbell on one, floor tom on four, uh, left hand on the <laughs> rack tom on five. Okay. Okay, still easy, I promise you. Once you, uh, you're past the fourth or fifth even, it gets really hard. Uh, I, I have to say, with, uh, may, with many students I played that game with, we, we could not finish it. <laughs> we, we didn't even make it to the end. It, uh, but um, another thing I wanted to add is uh, you, you can actually play this with, with every uh, level of playing. Uh, um, if, if it's too difficult with, with the paradiddle, let's say you're doing this with a beginner, um, then just go back to maybe using doubles or keep it really simple and use eight single strokes, just hand to hand and same format, right? It, it gets quite a bit easier with a single stroke roll, but still challenging towards the end of the game and um, same fun. Okay, so uh, let, let's do one more step or two more before I get really confused. Uh, so let's choose the last number, eight. I forgot if it was my student's turn or my turn, doesn't matter. Uh, let's say eight is the left hand, put this on the hi-hat. So we would have... Right, uh, and so on and so on. You could, uh, what, what, what's left? I, I should have written it down. <laughs> uh, number seven, I think we haven't chosen. Uh, number seven is also a left hand. Could be played on the high tom again. So at the end, it would sound like this, right? So. Right, so. A lot of fun, especially past the halfway mark there. Um, give it a shot, like try it by yourself first, uh, see how far you get. Uh, and uh, you, you might actually even start 
with some cross hand exercises that's uh, that can happen easily with that game which is cool right that's that's really fun stuff to practice anyways so uh yeah just give it a try and if you like it and you happen to teach uh students then then gi give it a shot I'm, i promise you it's going to be uh great fun um but also we should not forget it's a fantastic exercise right it's basically uh orchestrating around the kit uh while maintaining dynamics and the paradiddle sticking in this case so it a uh, fantastic exercise all right have fun and see you in my next video take care